Mount Vernon? Are you prepared for seasonal flooding? The city's flood preparation begins in June every year when the city's levees, pump stations, and other flood mitigation infrastructure are inspected and repaired, and staff uses the lessons learned from previous years to update flood procedures. In the early fall, public works staff practices flood response. And finally, this month, the Skagit River cities, dike districts, and county come together for Flood Awareness Week and the annual tabletop exercise that helps them practice how to coordinate and respond when a flood event occurs. It's important to be proactive and you can prepare for winter storms too by signing up for flood warnings and alerts, knowing and practicing your escape routes, having emergency supplies on hand, and making sure you have the right amount of flood insurance, just in case. You can also help prevent flooding over roadways by doing your part to keep storm drains clear of leaves and debris. Place leaves and debris from your yard into your yard waste bin. Do not sweep or blow them into the street. Check nearby storm drains periodically to make sure they're not clogged and trim trees and vegetation along sidewalks and streets to allow access. The city has two street sweepers it deploys daily to remove debris as quickly as possible, but there is a lot of ground to cover. Parks crews will be trimming trees along trails and streets this fall as well. If you see this happening, please stay out of work zones, look out for traffic stops and detours, and report potentially dangerous trees by calling or emailing the Parks Department. If you can, snap a picture and remember the location. The more information you can provide, the better when they send out workers to investigate. The new Library Commons opens to the public this month. A ribbon cutting celebration took place September 28th. Three, two, one. And the public got their first look inside. There are still a few pieces to be completed, however, so stay tuned to the library website and Facebook page for opening updates. To address recurring graffiti complaints, reduce juvenile loitering, improve access for Arbor Park families, and encourage more legitimate use of the area, a new trail has been built connecting LaVenture and the 25th Street Park. The trail was made possible through collaboration between the Parks Department, Police Department, Police Volunteers, and the Mount Vernon Rotary Club. Mount Baker Middle School Leadership Team has adopted the trail and will maintain it going forward. You're invited to the Fire Station 2 ribbon cutting on Saturday, October 19th from 10 to 2. Fire Station 2 is the main administration and training building for the city's fire department. And finally, the city is hosting our annual Veteran Food Drive this October. Find donation boxes in a variety of community locations, including City Hall, the Parks and Rec Office, various grocery stores, and churches. All donations will be distributed by Skagit Vets Connect. That's what's happening this month around Mount Vernon.